Hello there, YouTubers. Well, I'm up that high. I should be in the camera. I got a lot of stuff going on here. I, I, uh, this is a movie coming on after the movie that I just went to the... Uh, I guess, <laughs> we've been through that before. Uh, I just went up to... I broke that part, which we're going to show that in a minute, and then I ran up to Chambersburg D&D um, Sawmill Supply, and what a that, that was just unbelievable. That was neat in half. Um, so I, I it just things just just busy. Here it is. It's 4:30 in the afternoon on Sunday. Yesterday I didn't do a movie um, because it was rainy, snowy, just nasty out. So I just didn't just didn't do anything. Today was a beautiful day, 55 degrees. But I don't know. I guess about well, we had to leave our house at 1:30 and didn't get home till 4, a little after 4. We took our taxes into uh, the local tax people, H and R Block. They did the gentleman there that did it was just such a nice gentleman, and he did did a real good job. He found things that we would have never found, but they do every year, so that's a good thing. So then I came back and I was trying to get a movie on. I just put the put what what I thought was a fresh charge battery in the camera, and it wasn't a fresh charge battery in the camera. I have. I have four batteries. I charge them and when they're charged they go into this room over here. When they're not charged they come in here and set and get charged up. Well the wife cleans up after me an awful lot so she I guess picked up one of the ones that was sitting in this room to be charged and put it in the other room whatever. In fact there she is over there now. Anyhow um, so I had to start this video all over because that thing was flashing at me by the time I got back over there. Anyhow, let's um, apologize for not getting a movie out and late on this one. Um, but here's what we're dealing with. Dealing with these things here. This is the one. This is the one here. I can't really see. This is the one that just broke the other day. And if you can see it, it was held together up here. So all this was probably not holding on. I, I would venture to say. And it just broke its la last little part. But... Whoever welded this last little part looks pretty good because you can't, couldn't see it. So I went to my parts department and I found I have tons of these things that uh, just come off of. I've, I've bought lots of mills and sold lots of mills and parts and stuff like that. And so I don't sell that that particular part. And here's another one over here. Now I know this is a double lot one because this is this is a side of a husk of a double lot that I had purchase for parts and um, you can see where this one has been brazed too. all the ones I had were brazed or, or, or that one over there was actually this one over here was actually that's not brass that's not brass there that's uh, I guess I don't even I guess it's not nickel rod or I, I don't know what it is so I found this one brand new looking in the parts department well it wasn't looking brand new when I got it I came up here and I wire brushed it Mid midnight the other night. I was out here wire brushing. A lot of people know that I stay up late and got it all cleaned up. Ran uh, ran uh, tap through the there and ran run through there to make sure everything was going to be uh, perfect. And I don't believe it. This battery's flashing at me too. Well, I'm going to go as long as I can go on this flashing battery. Probably won't be very long. But anyhow. What the problem was, was the distance between this hole and this hole on this one is three and a half inches. On the one that I broke, can you see that? That's four inches. So I got to look and I said, what in the world is this off of? Because I never, the only, you know, and it's, you can see the mark on this one is 1132C. The C always means cast. Um, you couldn't read the part number on any of these because it was always over the weld so maybe that cast always you, there's just there's just nothing there so I guess you figure that all these were like this and when they did the the weld up they put it over there so now this one here is one off the number the number one I have backups for number one and this is an 11 1161C and you can see it's they're different in size well i never knew they were different in size i figured the number one was bigger but what the problem was was this is three and a half inches now i would have used that 
um, if it had been four inches, even though it was a different part number, because it's they say it's a little wider, which we're gonna sit it up here, and it's not enough wider. Well, I wouldn't have said it was any wider. Maybe if it, that was together a little bit, it might be not enough to worry about anyhow. But the and the height was the problem. So this is the one that I got now. I guess this one here. This one here would tell you whether the height, the width is a little, yeah, it's a quarter of an inch wider, which, you know, a quarter of an inch wider on these, these threads here, they're probably an eighth of an inch, eight threads per inch, so it'd only been one more thread on each, each side. I don't think that would have made any difference. Um, but anyhow, so I, I thought I'd look them up in the parts department. Before I look them up in the parts department, I have a price book from 1938, and I looked up the parts. So here's the 01. Here's the 01, and if you if you want to look at, here's what we're looking at. You can you can look up the specs later if you want to. This is a uh, 1161C, so it's the same. The 01 and the 1 are the same one. It, back then it cost two dollars and fifty cents. Okay, here it is on the 00 mill. Now that's that's the one I, I'm working on 00 mill, and according to this book, they show two, two different ones, an 1153 and 11. 55 one was 380 and one was a dollar 95 and if you want to look at the specs on that You can look at the specs on that, but it's the same four inches Okay And we'll go down now we'll hit to the well. I thought we did the number one. I Can't keep up. Oh one. Oh one and the one are the same So that's that's the same thing as two dollars and fifty cents there. There's no point in well I'll give you the dimension width wise if you're if you're looking Okay, that'll give you, a, if, you if you're interested, and that'll give you the dimension width-wise. Um, then here's the O-mill. So the one I had came out of an O-mill. Okay, and here is the dimensions on that. For some reason, that was three, three and a half inches height. Ain't that a, a, a bite in the butt? Anyhow, that one was two dollars and ten cents. Anyhow, that was that. Now the difference between the bearings in the O and the one they have a bearing up here and a bearing down here and they have this relief which goes down into this part to keep it as low as possible but for some reason it was different in the um, that and there's a there's a gusset I guess up here on the top so you can't it's it's always up and then you can get to a grease fitting that's over here so I'm gonna paint this one black get it all prettied up and get it ready to go and I was gonna put that on tonight but I'm not. It doesn't look like the the uh, center hole was real good. So I have to, which doesn't matter because that's just left to right, and you just change it with that. And if it, you know, it, that doesn't really make that much difference. Um, and that gets the big bolt that comes up from the bottom. This goes in here. Uh, not that that matters either. Yeah, it went in there. It'll help when I paint it. it it's going to be black, not green. Then the other thing that I'm working on, well, I'm working on a lot of stuff. I was supposed to be working on those handles and getting that done. I got to crush cans. There's that thing that I'm working on. Um, my wind spinner. The bearing went out in my wind spinner. Um, so I ordered bearings for it. And I think I'm going to change the color because it looks like it's starting to need a little bit of paint. So I think I'm going to paint it red, white, and blue. And when the bearing went bad, see where it polished off the thing when it started hitting other stuff. So... This, this bearing on this one here was still intact. The bearing on the big one was the one that took a dump. I heard something out there going clack, 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 and sure enough, that's what that was. What else was I going to show you? Oh, um, I did the cell phone, work on cell phone, the, the old cell phone. I went that back to do a short. This is what I do with my shorts on, and I said I was going to take it apart and see, if, see what the inside was like so you guys could look at the inside. Um, it really didn't come apart. It looks like it's got little one-way snaps on it there or something like that and so I thought now that I got it apart uh, I'll put it back together so I figured I'd bring you guys back to help me see me put it back together uh, that's gonna be interesting uh, if the battery hangs in there still still flashing at me so I'm trying to go faster than uh, my normal slow speed of course I'm gonna get right over there and the battery's gonna crap out I thought I might use this method of putting that back in 
backing in. I told you I smash all all cans, so we'll put those back there. Okay, and we'll set this down there. That's my cans. I got to get a new one out of there. You guys are still in there, so you're gonna watch me um, put this cover back on. This is probably not the way they do it at the factory. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll do it half at a time. That might be more interesting. I don't know whether it should go this way or this way or this way or this way. But we're going to do it this way. How to put a cover on a cell phone. You know, that thing didn't smash. I'm at a thousand pounds. That did not smash. Holy cow. I got to put you back up here so I can...